number four is this mm-hmm. all the flex open we had the guest spot at the scottish we had mpc sweden we now have dfac grand prix in leatherhead around six hours later we've eventually made it we've landed in the good old travel lodge which to be fair although it's pretty suboptimal i mean over this right now you will be seeing a room tour although it's not the most ideal place on the planet it is literally 20 seconds from the venue which just makes things stress-free so it's around 7 15 pm right now we've just made it pretty hectic day on the road but all food has near enough went in i've got a couple of chicken and almond meals to go in yet i've got 1.5 liters of water left because i accidentally left my water in the boot on the last leg of the journey but to be fair i've got water all the way up till bed tonight so that is a nice feeling that's pretty much it <laughs> like there's not really that much else to cover got a little bit of work left to do tonight which i'm going to box off i've got clients to go and see i've got will james brandon and jay to go and check over make sure everything's good make sure they're stress-free as well so yeah it's going to be hopefully another fun one i'm not on stage till tomorrow night around 6 7 p.m so that's definitely new for me waiting that whole day until i am on stage for the first time however We'll make it work. I'm going to be as stress-free as possible. But aside from that, we'll take you guys through what is going to be show day number four, DFAC Grand Prix. It's been two whole years since I have been on the Grand Prix stage, which again, hopefully we've made them improvements. I know I'm ready, but at the same time, it's just being there. That's the, the difference more than anything else. I'm, I'm feeling a lot more sucked in now more than anything else. So we, we know that it's going to be even more overnight, which is the, the good part. But how are you feeling? Good. How good? Really good. Hungry? No. You are definitely hungry. I'm not. You need food. I'm not. I've got a really sore head. A really sore head. Okay, so we'll just leave it there, guys. But I'm going to crack on with the rest of my night. And we'll just probably catch up with you either after the tan's done or in the morning. That's it, get that bum tanned. <laughs> That's it. Get right in there. <laughs> Doing a really good job. Thanks, babe. How are you feeling? Good. Sway. Is this your favourite job? This is my favourite job. It's better than shaving your bum. Better than shaving my bum. I'd rather tan it than shave it. Fair enough. What's this tan number? How many tans have you had? Only two actually. Today, yeah. Yeah. But it's the fourth different tan this fourth season. Tan this season. You could be a painter. I could be a painter. Oh. Second coat of tan going on right now. We've got about two hours I think now until we're on stage. So still a little bit of time, but it's been a relatively long day. I've just been able to chill, which has been nice. So I've just been like sleeping, working, doing a bit of editing and just trying to chill out. I've had no carbs since about, I think one o'clock. I think it's like one o'clock, one or, one or two o'clock. Um, and then Guy and Vicky had a look over me and they said no more carbs. So no more carbs have went in since then. And that's going to be until about 7 p.m. tonight, which kind of got me a little bit. But to be fair, like I, I trust them more than ever. Um, they are like the only people that I do trust whenever it comes to my look. So that is where we're at. So no more carbs are going in. Tiny little bits of, of fluid, but that is really it. We're ready. We're here. We're just getting the last little bits of um, tan on. Chill out. And then we're going to head over to the venue. But we've not put any pressure on content or anything like that. So that is why, to be fair, you've not really seen anything at all. But... As you can see, we're getting this last little bit of um, tan on here. Sarah's been the, the godsend. She's um, literally just been doing absolutely everything. Um, but everybody's here, which is incredible. Like it's been an incredible 24 hours, just although it's been a, a pain traveling and things like that, it's it's been incredible just having everybody here 
which is the main thing. So we're, we're having a really good time regardless, aren't we? We are. That's the main thing. That is the main thing. <laughs> so whether we get more content from now up until stage, we don't know, but we'll catch you at some point. Ready to do this goddamn thing. So for pump up, I think we'll go in with a Kinder chocolate. We might, yeah, we're probably gonna go for a Bueno as well. Just Kinder, sucker for Kinder. Anything white chocolate, give me something white chocolate. What are we going for? There's no white chocolate in here. Mm, that's a downfall. So we'll just go in for a Bueno and we'll go in for 28 Kinder chocolates. Our next pro shot the world by winning a juniors and overall Manda pro title in the same year in 2020. Big hand for Chris McCready. <laughs> We then moved on to our routines eventually, which actually I was I was pretty gutted. My music got cut short. Um, I believe the 
MC, the music person, didn't get told that the pros actually get upwards of 90 seconds rather than 60, but it's what it was. Out of our control, uh, we never let it get to us whatsoever, but there was only a couple of us that did get cut short there. However, um, I can only imagine that my song will get done for copyright. That's what it was. I, I'd done a nice little tribute to actually my grandpa, who unfortunately I lost um, only a few months ago on prep, which was one of the hardest things ever. He was a, a father role model to me, unfortunately. He, he brought me up. Um, but yeah, it was a really nice um, time to be able to do this at such a big show with my mum being there as well. So it was incredible. However, they killed us in the quarter turns. They killed us in that prejudging for sure. They pushed us super hard, which as a pro, I can only expect. But man, it was so hard. Like head judge Kerry absolutely killed us throughout the quarter turns, throughout the muscularities. But at the same time, again, as a professional athlete, I have to expect that. And that's definitely something that I most definitely did. Days post show, three days post the FAC Grand Prix. Where's my mind at? How am I feeling? How the day went down? What actually happened? Let's go through it. Let's go through it. I just want to keep this real. I'm going to keep this as unedited as I probably can, and hopefully, I don't say um 3,000 times. But off of stage, we never filmed a single thing, never really filmed anything at all because I was with my family. Um, I, I, I had my mum across in. Durham in England at my home for the first time in four years. She's never been here. So we, we, we made the use of the time that we had. She's now way back to Scotland. We're gutted, but we had the family there and it was incredible. And I just wanted to spend that time with everybody. I wanted to be able to have that time. We traveled back straight away. So we had a, a nice, I think it was, around five hours home it ended up which was nice because it didn't take the the full duration that it took the day before however um back to the grand prix so runner up spot one of them things guys it's bodybuilding at the end of the day this is also not going to be a case of me coming on here being as negative as fucking possible because i'm definitely not one of them people i've came runner up multiple times as you guys know the british finals to me the that that show Everything about it, I have came runner up way more times than what I've actually took first place. And it's one of them things. It's just literally been the cards that I've been dealt. But this was by far my best. Um, I know that for sure. Robert, who won, fucking incredible athlete, incredible. Like he is, he is the current pro overall world champion. Like he is literally the best right now. So to be honest with you, like we have quite a bit of, um, background going back to the 2019 DFAC World Finals where I was actually just a junior. I became junior world champion. I then got the opportunity to be able to step up into the open category. So I went up into heavyweight. He was a heavyweight at the time. He's been an open bodybuilder for a little bit of time now. Um, but we got to step on stage together then. He'd done me at the Worlds. I was a junior, of course. But then we both came back together as pros and got to compete against each other again. So it was, it was incredible. It was just a, a very iconic moment for us both. And we most definitely 
we made that count more than anything else, which was really nice. Now, obviously, how it went, my feedback was it was oranges and apples. We have two totally different physiques, and it's one of them things that within bodybuilding, you're gonna come up against that because no two people are gonna have the same physiques, and the unfortunate part is myself, Robert, we, we, we are so different, like, we are so different. And feedback was, I had tissue, I had mass, he had really nice lines, really nice shape. And the unfortunate part is the judging panel on the day wanted that and they never wanted the size. And it's just one of them things, like bodybuilding is such a subjective sport that that's what we have to expect at the end of the day. And if I came off of stage and absolutely killed myself, beat myself up, was pure raging, like was really cross at the judges and shit like that and started spitting out a lot of negativity, would that get me anywhere? No, that would absolutely set me back and I'd actually go back the way. I've now got another show to focus on in a couple of days time in Austria so we're going back out again we'll then be heading back out to the world in two weeks where myself and Robert might actually step on stage together again depending on whether we're going to be split into weight categories or we are going to be um, in an open class again so just everybody um, comes together and it's one all-out open class yeah that's pretty much where my mind's at I had a couple of bits of mixed feedback which maybe sent my head a little bit um, to begin with just because I didn't really know what I had to do to become better however like I say Overall, from the people who I trust, that was the main feedback that we were getting. And again, up until the world, I can only harden up so much more. The diet can only provide me with so much more value. I do definitely need to give my body a little bit more rest. I am aware of that. And it's one of them things that I can only improve on because we've got a little bit of time now left in the season. I've done so fucking much already. Like it's been an incredible season already. There's been so many different things happening. Like for example, one of the biggest things that was different for me was I found out the day before that we weren't having a pre-judging and evening show. We were actually just having a straight run through and it wasn't gonna be happening until like 8 p.m. at night. So immediately for me, I was like, fuck, I was like, is my physique gonna like diminish over the course of the day? What am I gonna do? I had clients on stage, which went incredibly well. I could not be prouder of everybody. We took some really fucking good top spots three world finals invites as well, which is absolutely huge for the team. So again, overall, it was an incredible, incredible, incredible day, weekend, loved the time with the family, appreciated absolutely fucking everything. And yeah, I just wanted to really come on here and kind of not put a big reflection out or anything like that, but just kind of go over it because it's not fair for you guys to just see a little bit of stage footage and not see, your, see where the old mindset's at. So like I say, it's super early in the morning, I've just done my cardio, I've just done my steps, I've got the job done and now we're going to be able to head away, finish the last and final day of Deplete which is today and then we're going to gradually carve up moving forward to the Austrian show, the Pro Evo show this weekend. But my biggest season yet guys as a professional natural bodybuilder which saying that at 26 years old getting to travel the world competing at my age as a professional is um a blessing and it's something that I will never not wake up and be grateful as fuck for. So as always guys, I appreciate all the support. Um, please don't stop using my code across everywhere. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Keep supporting the channel as much as you possibly can. It is appreciated. Like the video if you can as well and we'll catch up with you all in the next video.